it's wet and cold, but perfect for planting. I'm Paul Fisher, King County's forester, and we're out here at Middle Issaquah Natural Area outside of Issaquah Ways, and we are doing a special climate-adapted planting where we've picked special trees from further south, and we're planting them out in this trial here. So we're already seeing the effects of climate change where some of our common species like western hemlock and western red, red cedar are experiencing mortality or die-offs, and we think that's because of hotter, drier summers. So we're looking for are there trees of the same species that are better adapted to these dry, stressful summers that are only going to get worse? Our trial is to see how well these trees establish early on. We want to make sure that they can grow and grow well in the first few years, five years, ten years of their life. And we have more confidence that they'll do very well over long time frames, 50 years and beyond. We're looking at five main species, Douglas fir, Western red cedar, grand fir, Sitka spruce, western hemlock. We do have a ponderosa pine seed lot. We've selected these mostly from south Oregon, outside of Coos Bay. There's some from the northwesternmost corner of California, and some from southern Washington also. This project is important to me, knowing that we're working on making our forests healthier in the long run under increasingly adverse conditions for myself to enjoy, my community, my kids. These are the kinds of steps we need to take to make sure our forests are healthy and strong long into the future.